Manpower Minister Dr. Tan Seeling has once again sidestepped addressing the figures concerning the increase of 4,900 in resident employment in 2023, particularly regarding the composition of non-Singaporean citizens within this statistic. Leong Mun Wai, a non-constituency member of parliament from the Progress Singapore Party, lodged a query to press the Minister of Manpower, MOM for specific figures regarding the increase of 4,900 in resident employment in 2023. His inquiry specifically sought to uncover the percentage of this increase attributed to non-residents becoming residents in Singapore. Additionally, Leong questioned why this particular data is not included in the annual labor market reports. However, Dr. Tan chose not to provide a direct response, instead recalling previous parliamentary debates on the topic. In a written reply to Mr. Leong's parliamentary question, PQ, Dr. Tan deemed this line of questioning unproductive and claimed it undermines social cohesion in Singapore. Dr. Tan clarified that MOM does not collect data on the net change in resident employment based on workers' prior residency status in their labor market surveys. He explained that net employment change is derived from Central Provident Fund, CPF, administrative data, which does not gather information on prior residency status. Instead of addressing Leong's specific queries, Dr. Tan suggested referring to the MOM Statistics webpage for a more comprehensive understanding of labor market outcomes for residents, including employment rate, unemployment rate, and wage growth. According to the Job Statistics report released by the Ministry of Manpower in March, 94.5% of the employment growth in 2023, comprising 88,400 positions in Singapore, excluding migrant domestic workers, came from non-resident workers. The remaining 4,900 resident employment growth accounts for both Singaporean citizens and non-Singaporean permanent residents, without further breakdown. This is not the first time Dr. Tan has avoided addressing concerns regarding employment figures. In a previous parliamentary exchange last April, Minister Tan evaded direct questions from both Workers' Party MP Gerald Jayam and NCMP Leong regarding the employment of Singaporean citizens in 2023. Instead of providing specific figures, Dr. Tan emphasized the importance of not viewing residents and foreigners as a zero-sum game and stressed the necessity of foreign talent for enhancing job opportunities and wages for locals. These statements were made in response to concerns raised by Mr. Jayam about ensuring that the majority of new jobs in 2024 are secured by citizens and residents, especially given the previous year's trend where non-residents accounted for the bulk of employment growth. Addressing apprehensions raised by members of parliament, Dr. Tan countered misconceptions about foreign employment and local job opportunities. He highlighted the necessity of a diverse workforce for economic growth, emphasizing the importance of access to workers, including foreign talent, in a tight labor market. In response to Mr. Jayam's direct questions about the percentage of the 4,900 increase in employment that goes to Singaporeans, Dr. Tan reiterated his previous points without providing specific figures, stressing the essential nature of access to a diverse workforce for business growth. NCMP Leong raised concerns about the need for job statistics to distinguish between Singaporeans and permanent residents PRs, and emphasized the lack of transparency regarding changes in resident unemployment. However, Dr. Tan interpreted Leong's remarks as an attempt to revive a dichotomy between Singapore citizens versus PRs, characterizing it as an us-versus-them scenario. Dr. Tan concluded the debate by suggesting Mr. Leong file another PQ for the matter, without directly addressing the concerns raised. Given the significance of this issue and its implications for Singapore's labor market and social cohesion, it remains crucial for policymakers to provide transparent and comprehensive data regarding employment trends and the composition of the workforce. 新加坡人力部长陈思能再次拒绝解释2023年居民就业增加4900人的数字,尤其是非新加坡公民的构成。
。来自新加坡进步党的非选区国会议员梁文威向人力部长提出了一项问题，要求提供有关2023年居民就业增加4900人的具体数据。他的询问特别关注这一增长中非居民成为新加坡居民的比例。此外，梁文威还质疑为什么这些数据没有包含在年度劳动力市场报告中。然而，陈博士选择不直接回应，而是回顾了先前的议会辩论。在回答梁先生的议会问题时，陈博士认为这种问询方式是无效的。并声称这破坏了新加坡的社会凝聚力。陈博士澄清说，人力部在其劳动力市场调查中不收集关于工人先前居住状态的居民就业变化数据。他解释说，净就业变化来自中央公积金 （CPF） 的行政数据，该数据不收集有关先前居住状态的信息。与其回答梁先生的具体问题，陈博士建议参考人力部统计网页，以更全面的了解居民的劳动力市场结果，包括就业率、失业率和工资增长。根据人力部今年三月发布的就业统计报告显示， 2 0 2 3年新加坡就业增长的 94.5% 即八万八千四百个职位来自非居民工人。剩下的 4,900 个居民就业增长，既包括新加坡公民，又包括非新加坡永久居民，没有进一步的细分。这并不是陈博士首次回避有关就业数字的担忧。在去年4月的一次议会交流中，陈部长回避了来自工人党议员严彦松和梁文威的直接问题。这些问题涉及2023年新加坡公民的就业情况。陈博士没有提供具体的数字，而是强调了不应将居民和外国人视为零和游戏的重要性，并强调了外国人才对提高本地就业机会和工资的重要性。